Antonio Guterres made a statement around this is the time for make or break. What actions will you be taking over the next 12 months to reflect that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's absolutely right that there's that kind of pressure being pointed at business right now. What are we actually going to do now? And I think that's the beauty of business versus policy makers. We're the guys that make stuff happen. So I think the thing that we're you know, incredibly interested and excited about is the idea of circularity. You know, the nature of our business at The Body Shop is we have a direct connection with the customer. Um, and we think it's on us to actually make it easy for the customer to be able to participate, to provide the tools that allow them to embrace circularity. Otherwise, it seems like a concept that's really hard to get there, you know, to actually take part in. So we've started a program of rolling out refills. Now, it's not a new idea. Anita Roddick started it in the 1980s, but we've brought it back with infinitely recyclable uh, aluminium bottles. By the end of this year, we hope to have it in 300 out of our 1,000 stores. By the end of next year, at least 800. We're hoping, hoping we can maybe get to 1,000. But it's a mechanism that's going to allow customers to really be able to embrace circularity in an easy, natural way. So it's not going to change the world, but it's important, I think, that businesses are leading the way in trying new stuff. And so that's the change that we're going to make in the next year. Thank you for that. Um, one additional question. Uh, are you seeing more collaboration across sectors when it comes to climate action or are you still seeing competition? I think a little bit of both. I mean, I think there's growing collaboration. You know, there's events like this where people of the FMCG community are coming together and sharing experiences. Um, I think we're we're all getting on the train, frankly. So there's an element of competition. You know, when I meet some of my colleagues uh, or some of my competitors in other businesses, there's always the first question: How are you getting on? So uh, you know that that inevitably is going to be there because we all want to win. But you know, we want to win in a way that's good for everybody. So I think definitely. Some Signs of more collaboration. We know that no one company is going to solve all these problems on their own. You know, we're going to need to work together. So uh, I think some good signs in that area. And my final question: We've known about climate change since the 1960s, what 61 years or something. What do you think is the big bottleneck or elephant in the room going forward that's going to delay this acceleration of transition that we, we, we urgently need? Yeah, I think you know the the thing that really resonates with us and concerns us at the body shop is this idea of just transition. I think there's an awful lot of talk that's going on at the moment around transition. I think people get that, but we're really concerned about the just element, which doesn't seem to get talked about as much. So you know, how do we ensure that nobody gets left behind on this journey? I mean, frankly, in an environment like this with this kind of audience, you know, we're probably in an economic group that's going to be safe for the next couple of generations from whatever climate change throws at us. But it's not about us. It's about it's not about 500 million people. It's about seven plus billion people on the planet. And how do we ensure that absolutely nobody gets left behind? And I'd like to see more discussion around the just and not just the transition.